Hello fellow After Effects users, and welcome to a very exciting and short After Effects quick tip. What if you could have a repeater for text layers, similar to having a repeater for shape layers, but without using any extra effects? Just a couple of slider controls. Intriguing. Let's get started. With After Effects open, I'll create a new composition. Standard 1080p is fine. 10 seconds, click OK. Next, I'll create a new text layer. You can type anything you want here. I'll type repeater. We'll need two slider controls on this layer. One called X repeat for controlling the repetitions on the X axis, and one called Y repeat for the Y axis. And now we'll need to add an expression to the source text property. With the layer selected, hold down Alt or Option on a Mac and click the stopwatch to enter an expression. Here's the expression. Now, as I increase the X repeat and Y repeat sliders, we get the original word repeated horizontally and vertically. Pretty cool, right? Important to keep in mind, the vertical repetition only goes from the original layer down. Now, let's briefly walk through what is happening in this expression. The first two lines merely set the variables for each of the slider controls we added to the layer. X for X and Y for Y. And the next line is for adding an extra space or padding between each of the copies horizontally. It takes the original word and appends a space character at the end. The next line is what drives the horizontal repetitions. It utilizes the dot repeat function with one variable, the solder control for the X axis or number of copies. The next line sets the initial vertical repetition. Since we want to vertically repeat everything above, we need to include everything that's been done above during the horizontal repetition. And to that, we add a return character to go down one line equivalent to hitting the enter key on your keyboard multiple times. The final line uses the slider control for the Y axis to control the number of copies vertically, each time adding a return character to shift down one line. And that's it for the expression. You can control the vertical spacing between lines with the letting control in the character panel. And that about wraps it up. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and thanks for watching.